in my youngest twin. They thought it was sweet, but it was really sour. <laughs> we only want the flock, baby. Gotta win every time. MVP! You inspire me, cuz. No bandwagon applications are available. So that's what we do. Y'all the realest mods in the league. Big trust. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Let's step into the octagon, fighting out of Baltimore, Maryland, by way of Tuscaloosa, Alabama, wearing the black trunks with the purple trim, and still the angry <laughs> run champion of the world, presenting Mark the Raging Raven Ingram. What's up, <laughs> <laughs> What's going down, man, with the family on Good Morning Football? Y'all know what time it is. We turning up. <laughs> it's time to hit. It's time to talk to the king. Mark, we have so much to talk about, about you and your Ravens. Let's get right to the field. Last year, you guys broke a record that stood for 41 years, the team rushing record, and you snapped it over your knee. Now you add this young J.K. Dobbins. It's bringing sand to the beach. What are the expectations from these Ravens and these Ravens running backs this year? Man, we expect to be the best in the league. Uh, that's our standard. We, we, we plan to be the best. Every time we step on the field, we want to be the best running back group, be the best running back on the field. So... Um, we broke the rushing record last year, and you know that obviously be a lofty goal to try to attain again. But we going for it. We going to shoot for it, and we got the players to do it. And uh, in order to win championships, you got to add great players. And I think we did that this off season. So we're looking forward to the season. J.K. Dobbins, can't wait to see him out there, especially under your leadership. I spoke to you on Instagram Live. I don't know if you're Wolfin or not Wolfin anymore. That doesn't matter. But I talked to Mark Andrews and Marlon Humphrey, Cam Jordan, your former teammate, and they all point to you as being this guy who injects fun into the locker room. We see it on those highlights, and we hope you're doing well with your family, enjoying hopefully a Taco Tuesday yesterday and all that other fun stuff we talked about on IG Live. Uh, you tweeted yesterday, when you love what you do and the people around you, it's always big vibes. I love that. I liked it. I need to know how you're bringing those big vibes to uh, the sixth annual Red Nose Day in America tomorrow. Man, they're just doing great things, man. I'm so excited to be partnering with Walgreens on Red Nose Day. It's basically an annual campaign to raise funds and awareness to end child poverty. So that's awesome. That's amazing. We always want to make sure our youth are thriving and excelling. So anybody who donates to the cause, um, you basically help them provide food, health, shelter, and many other resources to the most vulnerable children in our communities. So um, make sure our children are thriving mm. uh, and having success. Uh, I think that's huge, and I'm great to be partnering with Walgreens on this great cause. And, you know, got to bring the vibes to the kids. Mark loves the kids. We all love the kids. <laughs> so you got to have the vibes going to the kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, man. We appreciate that. Hey, hey, Mark, let me ask you a question. And I was going to ask it generically and say what went wrong last year, but I want you to answer this um, from a very introspective place. I remember dating back when I crashed my car trying to save a pizza. I remember getting out that car and looking at my broken arm. And I whispered to myself, I just effed up our season. And yep. the reason I'm, I'm, at, I'm telling you that is because when you went down with that ankle, um, was that the feeling? Because maybe the world didn't know how banged up you were, but you were such a big part of this offense. And did you think at that point, if I'm not 100%, it's just going to be tough for us to have the same type of juice and the same type of go like we do when I'm 100% healthy? Man, it was difficult, man, because I had been healthy the whole season. And just for that injury to happen on just a fluke step back that I took one million times since I was a kid, um... You know, that, that, that bothered me a little bit. But um, I still had the feeling that we would be perfectly fine, you know what I mean, as long as we handled business and didn't hurt ourselves. Um, obviously, I knew um, with me not being at 100% that that would affect us a little bit. But we had, um, you know, we just had great playmakers all over the field. So I didn't think that it would, you know, hinder us and, and set us back. And I still think that we just had too many mistakes in that game that um, in the playoffs that essentially – you know, didn't help us win the game, man. Just turnovers, negative plays, and a few injuries, of course. But um, I still felt like we had the team to be, you know, team to continue to advance and allow me to get healthier so we can make a, a, a better run for the championship. But 
Um, yeah, I did feel that way a little bit, man. They, man, uh, that made me mad, and it was frustrating trying to prepare and get ready for the season. I mean, for that playoff game when you know I was nursing this calf and trying to fight back with the calf, you know. So uh, I feel you on that, man. Yeah. But I felt like we had the team to, you know, still be able to do it. Mark, you've got this great spirit. Every time you come on our show, you light it up. You go on other shows, you light it up. I spoke with you on Fox a couple of weeks ago, and you had three kids on your lap. You've got four children <laughs> under the age of five. Everyone is in quarantine or is now in staying at home mode. What have you learned as a father spending so much time with your young children over the past few weeks? Man, just to cherish every moment with them. They grow so fast. They they grow so fast, man. And I just hear people, you know, all over that say, like, you know, they have kids that are in high school or kids that are in college or kids that are in grown. It's just like, just to cherish every moment, every single day with them. And that's what I've been doing during this quarantine, man. Just trying to be with them, spend time with them, help them learn. You know, they haven't been in school. Um, just taking them outside, helping them, you know, play. My, my oldest is riding her bike with no training wheels. I'm about to tra take the training wheels off off my second daughter, you know, here in the next couple of days. Uh, they've been riding go-karts. They've been playing. We've been playing sports. Um, we've been doing a lot of things. They they, they, they playing on my PlayStation, um, the Mario Kart version of Nickel Nickelodeon. They got, like, SpongeBob Ninja Turtles and, like, <laughs> different things like that. So um, just spending time with them, loving on them, being with them. Man, I just learned that they're special kids. Uh, take it, Don't take any moment with them for granted. And I, I just love every moment being this being able to spend with my young seed. <laughs> I hear you, man. We, we all do. You got, we all got to keep making money so we can pay for that Trolls World Tour rental over and over <laughs> and over, man, because you know that thing isn't cheap. <laughs> hey, hey, Scooby-Doo saved me. Scooby-Doo did it right. So they said you can rent it or buy it. So we got Scooby-Doo on That's here, bad. and they saved me. So, so we kind of we, we awesome. dodged the Trolls problem temporarily, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Mark! Quickly, but the, the other world tour that's going to be relaunching this fall is the Lamar Jackson World Tour uh, Part Two. Maybe tell us about your guy. You're the hype man. You're the one who knew he was MVP. What are we looking for from Lamar Jackson, the QB one, this fall for the Ravens? Get us fired up again, Mark. Listen, man, you seen the jump that Mahomes had from his second to third year? The improvement, the the way he was comfortable with his team, the way he's comfortable in himself, being a leader being a playmaker. So I see that same jump for Lamar, man. He's special. Uh, I ain't got to tell you guys, you know, he has all the tools, all the intangibles to be great, to be the MVP again. You know what I mean? So we are just working, doing everything we can to prepare with this circumstances going on. And uh, I think we all getting together to do some routes, to do some things together here in a week or so uh, with, with Lamar and some of the skill positions. And we're going to be ready to go when the ball kick off, man. So he's special. We love him. And he's the best, man. He's the GOAT. So um, we got his back, and we trying to be champions. So that's that. That's the goal for all of us. We love that. Big, big trust with two Zs. Anybody can support the Red Nose uh, Day by donating online. It's walgreens.com slash Red Nose Day. You can encourage friends and family to get involved. There's photos and tags and all sorts of stuff on social media and filters. And you better put that route running on social media that you'll be doing with Lamar Jackson next week. Thank you so much, Ingram, for joining us. Yeah. 